it real I'm independent, I don't need no deal I'm Jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill Okay guys, it's Unders and we are in FL Studio and I'm going to show you how to solve a very specific problem a set of drums like all together and a bass line and they're fighting with each other so what I've done is just thrown some stems in from a beat just here so we've got this <laughs> And the reason I've done this is the drums are all together in one stem. And so is the bass line. Now these two are kind of fighting each other. We want to control the bass line with the drums, but we only really want it to touch the kick drum. Okay, really simple way to do it. The drums bus here, we're going to go over to the bass one, see the little arrow at the bottom here. We are going to right click and we are going to side chain to this track. It's now going to send a signal to that bass track, but we don't hear it. It's still going to play back the same. So let's press F8. We're going to get the fruity limiter. So we can just type L I M, grab the fruity limiter. We're going to drop that over here on our bass line. I'm just going to remove this background so we can see what's going on. We'll make that a little bit larger. Now we want this to be on the compressor. So let's switch over to compressor just like that. And underneath release over here on the right hand side, we want the side chain to go to our drums. If we right click, we can see everything that's linked to it via that side chain we made before. We can just choose drums. Equally, you can just scroll up to one knowing that that's going to be the drums as well. Now when we play back in here, we're going to see our bass as white audio and we're going to see some blue audio outlined and that's going to be our drums and we're going to dial our threshold in so it captures that kick drum. So we can see there, we're starting to get some reduction when the kick drum hits, perfect. But it's releasing so quickly, it's releasing during the kick drum. So we wanna make that last a little bit longer. Now I do this using the curves instead. We're gonna push the curve up to like three or four. That rounds it off a bit. Uh, and the release is already pretty high up at like 200. So we'll maybe even give that a curve of five so it really smooths it off there. And that's it. You can hear now that that kick punches right through. It's no longer fighting with the bass. Check it out. But what I'll do, I'll play it with it off and then we'll switch it on. And hopefully you can hear that kick just punches right through and the bass is now no longer in the way. But you don't really notice it. They're all just behaving together. And that, guys, is how you can sidechain the kick and bass when all your drums are all together in FL Studio. Quick and easy. I hope it was helpful for you. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.